Holy crap. Sounds like it's going closer too. Hey guys, guess what? Clear skies, finally. Yeah, Taco, come on, let's pack. So I'm doing something a little bit different tonight. I'm uh, at a Bortle 4 and I haven't been to this location in years. This is the place where I learned how to fly RC actually, planes and helicopters and eventually drones. You and the Phantom, I have to back up to get it all in there frame. Yeah, you gotta get it all in one frame, man. Yeah. Cool. Are you gonna launch it? Yeah, I will here in a sec. Alright, sweet. <laughs> and it's super dark. The cool thing is is you can't see it over there. There's a bathroom over there. I got a I got a picnic table. Actually right here. Hold on. See it there? and I can just park over there, which is great. So I don't know how much range I have on my ASI Air, but um, I'm gonna welcome darker skies for sure. The uh, other place I was at is uh, turning out to be a little unsafe, so I'm exploring my options with different places to shoot. And this place is gonna be pretty awesome. There's multiple places around this field so I'm just trying this spot out tonight tomorrow I might try the um, spot along the other way and then the next night maybe uh, the other way and see which one's the best for me so but right here it's right by the river and uh, the trails right here too so if I get bored I can just uh, electric board while I'm taking subs so it's that's a big plus okay it, it is super dark here I only have a few lights on the hillside it's a lot better than where I was at and the sun's not really down yet but it's getting there and it's just it's black almost so I'm pretty sure my picture of M101 is gonna be great I chose that target tonight because I've been uh, shooting I've been shooting targets that need a lot of exposure time and I kind of want to see something tonight. <laughs> so I'm taking uh, LRGB and a little bit over an hour in each. I'll probably be out here for about five or six hours and just kind of enjoying it. It's nice here. I, I don't feel like I'm going to get shanked or anything. <laughs> cool thing is this place has outlets too. Not that I really need it, but it's nice to know. Um, Jeez, I, I can't tell you how many memories I have here. So I'm just learning how to fly. It's it's pretty awesome doing this hobby here in the same spot that I learned how to do like just amazing stuff. All right, let's do some exploring, shall we? Man, I love this concrete. There's no, uh, no rocks of death. I actually commute on down this road in the morning on my electric board. It's just weird. Skating it at night. I 
want to check out the other lot. Real quick. Looks like I got a car coming down the street, dude. I'll be careful. It's a cool place where I live. Um, electric boards and electric vehicles have the same right as cyclists do. We just have to have lights. Ooh, did you hear that? Straight up bullfrog. All right, I might come here tomorrow night, this lot here, see if this is any better. This is the main lot. It's just, it has a nice concrete pad here. So. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. But I wouldn't have the view that I have of the other the other side. The other side's really, really neat. Alright, let's get back over there before someone steals my uh, scope. <laughs> Although that'd be pretty quick, you know what I mean? The thing weighs like a hundred pounds. <laughs> Not die, shall we? We're gonna try not to die. What a beautiful night. It's an amazing night to skate. Oh my gosh. And I love it because there's no one on the road. And the road's pretty smooth. All good stuff. I think my turns are under somewhere. Yep, right here. Okay, holy hear that? There's a coyote right in front of me. So close. Totally hear him. Holy crap. Sounds like it's coming closer too. Okay, it looks like the clouds are moving in. Uh, I got, I'm contending with a little bit of high cloud. The funny thing is it's, it's coming in around my target. So it hasn't covered it yet, but I, I know that um, these subs are looking a little bit more softer, but I'm gonna try and get as many subs as I can before I get covered. And um, hopefully I'll have enough to make a picture. I'm hoping but it's it's clouding over pretty quick but I'm gonna I'm gonna try at least get an hour so hopefully that happens you know man astrophotography man it's I'm starting to learn like things never go the way you plan and you just have to be patient and then you know if you don't you know, get a photo that night, you just come back the next night and you keep trying. You know, keep the good data, throw out the bad, and you know, someday <laughs> you'll make a photo. The funny thing is, I came here tonight, you know, and you know, I, it's a relatively easy target to, uh, to capture. And I've been, like, for weeks, like, getting integrated data on, like, these faint targets me trying to expose it and this happens <laughs> so, I guess you just really don't know what'll 
what's going to happen the the night that you know you set out and oh do things that are easy right so i'm just glad that these clouds are moving around my target <laughs> These are my HA flats. I got an hour of HA after I got about an hour and a half of blue. So that was a gift. Uh, it's starting to cloud up again. It it got clear and that was just, I don't know, that was really awesome. So I just kind of went with it. It's 4.30 in the morning right now. So after this, I'm going to just go home and then pass out. But this was an awesome night, you know, uh, skateboarding, exploring. You know shooting some astro and i really like this spot it's really cool i can just kind of roll up on a you know portal four you know so uh, i'll definitely come back here again maybe tomorrow <laughs> did i say easy target to expose i feel like i'm gonna be eating those words for a long time it actually was surprisingly faint but i can't complain this is my first photo ever of the Pinwheel Galaxy, and it certainly won't be my last. <laughs>